Koenigsegg Automotive AB. It's a name that elicits visions of extreme performance and cutting-edge technology in the automotive world. Founded in 1994 by Christian von Koenigsegg, this Swedish supercar maker has earned a reputation for pushing the boundaries when it comes to designing high-horsepower hypercars. While they only produce around 20 hand-built cars per year, often built to each customer's exact specifications, Koenigsegg's models consistently break records and introduce innovative new engineering concepts. Just take a look at beasts like the one, Agera RS and Regera, to see what I mean. Koenigsegg's mantra is power, efficiency, and lightweight construction. And their latest marvel, the four-seat Gemera introduced in 2020, lives up to the hype. The Gamera features an impressive hybrid powertrain, combining a twin-turbo three-cylinder internal combustion engine with not one, but three electric motors. This brings us to the star of today's video, the Gamera's dark matter electric motor. Koenigsegg claims this compact motor pumps out 600 kilowatts, or about 800 horsepower, while tipping the scales at under 40 kilograms. That insane power-to-weight ratio is enabled by cutting-edge design from Koenigsegg's R&D team. In a time when electric propulsion is taking over the auto industry, companies like Koenigsegg show the exciting possibilities of EV performance. I can't wait to dive deep into the secrets behind this revolutionary dark matter motor. How did Koenigsegg manage to create such a power-dense electric beast? Let's find out. When it comes to electric motors, there are two main ways magnets and coils can face each other, radial flux or axial flux. Let me explain the difference in a simple way. Think of a radial flux motor like a donut. The magnets are the donut hole, spinning around inside the donut itself, which is the stator. The magnets face the sides of the donut radially. Now imagine taking that donut and smashing it flat into a pancake. The magnets would now be facing the pancake coils from parallel sides rather than radially from the center. That's an axial flux motor design. It's kind of like how old records played music versus how CDs read data. Records read radially from the center, while CDs read axially in a straight line. So why did Koenigsegg use axial flux for their dark matter motor? Well, pancake motors can be made wider and thinner more easily. That helps lower the motor in the car for better handling. The flat design also let the engineers optimize the magnetic fields better, finding the sweet spot between torque and power density. Think of it like reshaping a pan of fuzzy fridge magnets into new patterns. By combining both radial and axial flux techniques, the dark matter motor gets the advantages of each approach. Wider axial design boosts torque, while radial design controls the three D magnetic fields for maximum power in a compact size. Most electric motors run on three phases, or three sets of coils facing the magnets. It's like only having three clones of yourself to surround and catch a spinning ball. But Koenigsegg decided to use six phases in their dark matter motor. That means six sets of coils working together to spin those magnets. Now imagine having six clones surrounding the ball. It's easier to keep it contained and spinning fast. Adding more phases helps distribute the electric current evenly so the motor can output more power without overheating. It's like having more workers to lift a heavy object. The load is lighter when shared. Of course, controlling six phases is more complicated than just three. It's like trying to coordinate a dance with six partners instead of two, a lot more stepping on toes. The inverters and control systems have to be really sophisticated to orchestrate the magnetic fields perfectly. But Koenigsegg decided the extra performance was worth the trade-off in complexity. So in summary, more phases equals more power potential, but also more complexity under the hood. Koenigsegg used that power boost to make their motor super strong for its size. Pretty shockingly cool if you ask me. Materials take some expensive special processes, we're talking supplying just one motor would cost me at least a year's salary. Ouch! And because these magnets come mostly from China, supply chain issues are probably a nightmare. I don't know about you, but I do not want to deal with any more shortages after the great toilet paper crisis of 2020. Axial flux motor designs like Koenigsegg's are also tougher to manufacture versus normal radial motors. 
Building pancake staters accurately requires some serious quality control. So in other words, don't expect the dark matter tech to end up in your budget EV anytime soon. Exotic hypercar clients with bottomless pockets? Sure. The rest of us average folks? Yeah, maybe give it another decade or two. But that exclusivity just makes what Koenigsegg has achieved even more impressive, if you ask me. They've created a true halo product that pushes boundaries of what's possible with motor engineering today. Mad props. Phew, we covered a lot of ground today. Axial flux, radial flux, six-phase, rare earth magnets. My brain is full. But I hope you now understand why Koenigsegg's dark matter motor is such an incredible feat of engineering. This hypercar maker has once again lived up to their reputation as true innovators. Combining axial and radial designs gives them the benefits of both worlds. Compact size yet massive torque output. The six-phase operating strategy distributes current evenly for jaw-dropping power density. It's a certified beast in a petite package. Exotic materials and custom-tailored components extract every ounce of performance possible. This is no ordinary EV motor. This is the terminator of electric propulsion. Now, does your average motorist need 800 hyper-horsepower? Of course not. But we can thank Koenigsegg's unrelenting innovation for pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Who knows? Maybe in five or ten years, their exotic designs will filter down to normal production cars as manufacturing techniques evolve. I know my car could use a little dark matter magic. So, in closing, major respect to Koenigsegg for continuing to wow the automotive world. The dark matter motor raises the bar, and now it's time for others to step up. Game on! And with that, I'm signing off. Hit like if you learned something and subscribe for more interesting content. See you next time.